Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Shami Sajwani and you are watching Upskill Yourself. In today's video, I'll be showing you 5 cool keyboard tricks that are going to be very helpful when you're doing a lot of work and you don't want to move your hands too much. So these are just shortcuts and keyboard hotkeys, whatever you want to call them. You might know a few, you might not have heard any of them. So don't worry about these and they are very simple techniques to make you more tech savvy and productive. So these are a few things that are going to help you with your day to day tasks. Like the video, comment down below because it doesn't take up much time but it helps me a lot and subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado, let's get into the video. So first is virtual desktop and how are you going to create that? So imagine if you're doing a lot of stuff, you have a lot of tabs and everything open and there's something quick that has come and you need to address that. In order to avoid everything and minimize everything, you can just create another virtual desktop and get done with that work and close the desktop entirely. All you need to do is press Windows plus Control plus D and if you're on a Mac, just press Control plus up arrow. This way you're going to create a virtual desktop and just start afresh. And the next we have is how to switch between these virtual desktop. So switching is very easy. You just need to press Windows key plus the control key and then the left and right arrow key in order to which desktop you want to bounce to. If you're on the Mac, it goes from control plus arrow keys and it's going to be very beneficial for you from jumping from one desktop to another immediately and let's say now you want to close that virtual desktop your work is done so you can just press control plus windows key plus f4 this option key plus x this will close the intended virtual desktop you're on currently and bring you to the previous one the next on the list is how to minimize apps right Imagine you're working a lot and you got very tired of working for long hours and you want to take a break but you don't want to close everything and you don't want to go for the mouse, right? You want to minimize everything and just take a look at the beautiful wallpaper you have set on the desktop. So you can do this by pressing Windows plus M which will minimize all the tasks, all the apps that are open currently and then you can enjoy the wallpaper. And if you notice my wallpaper, it says subscribe and skill yourself. And you should do that. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel so don't miss out any future videos. Moving on, if you don't want to minimize the apps, right? If you just want to take a quick peek on what is happening on the desktop, or let's say your boss or someone just came immediately and you want to don't have time to hide everything, you just want to keep it there. So what you can do is press Windows plus comma right windows plus comma that will give you the effect of a peaking and you can like just keep the windows pressed as you leave the windows key everything will pop up back again next on the list is open apps from taskbar and this is a very fun one because a lot of time we need apps on an urgent and direct basis and we don't have time to scroll through the app list and find those putting on desktop will make our computer slower if you don't know that trick, let me know in the comments, I'm going to explain how that works. And so what I do is put those app icons on the taskbar here. This makes it more easier and doesn't even slow down the PC. To any of the apps on the app list, select drag and drop on the taskbar and now that has been placed on the taskbar. And now if you want to quickly open it from your keyboard, you just need to press the windows key and then any number key which is associated with that app respectively right so on number one i have google chrome on number two i have spotify on number three i have openshot that is my video editing software on number four i have microsoft word so i have these tab i have these apps associated with a number right so i'm going to press any of the combination and that app will open All right so moving forward we have number fifth split screen Split screen, this is my favorite of them all because um, <clears throat> this is something I use on a daily basis. I I am a big fan of multitasking and doing two, three things and having open them side by side. You might have tried split screen, you might have not. This is an easy way to do this. Oh, let's say you have two things open, right? You're, you're writing an article or a paper and you want to cross check with the source, right? So what you can do is press Windows plus arrow key on one of the app 
and then on the second one you can press windows and another opposite arrow key and then you can have both open side by side like this i also used this trick when i was telling in the previous video how to check ram storage and everything i was comparing two settings side by side if you haven't watched that video i'm going to link it in the description also in the icard you can go check that out as well so if you've stayed so far um, i really appreciate it thank you very much for staying and for those of you guys who stayed i have a bonus tip for you so tip number six or call it a bonus tip this trick is switching between apps right so imagine if we have a lot of apps open at one time i'm going to show you right now so this is how um, i might have a lot of apps open at a time to see how many and all of these apps what i can do is press Control plus alt plus tap i can see all of these open apps in front of me then i can use arrow keys to go to that app and press enter and i'm in that app Another quick way is to press Alt and Tab to get a quick access to apps. And if you're a Mac user, you can use Control plus Tab, right? You can use Control plus Tab to do the exact same thing. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the end. And if you like the video, drop a like to the video, comment what you like the most about it, share it with your friends, help each other out, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.